Hello guys, good morning, good afternoon, good evening from wherever you are watching us. Hello. How you doing, Mavi? Uh, I thought you forget about me. No, uh, we have to start with you then. No, we always have to start with our audience. In Red Base, we care about our audience. Uh, I'm not being mushy, right? It's not fake. It's real. You see, uh uh. I was fighting for her, she was fighting for you. Yes, guys, I always have your back, and I'm doing very well, Dami. Thank you very much. How are you doing? Good, good, good. I'm Excited about. Wow, I can't believe we're actually getting to. We're actually in the final episode. This is the last episode. Wow, of this series. Of the then versus now. Okay. So, we're wrapping this up today, guys, um, with an exciting topic. That's right. And we want to talk about the past and the present. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, so for the mm -hmm. past couple of months, we've been talking about the then versus the now. Yeah. And now we want to tie everything up talking about, you know, how it relates to your past mm -hmm. and your present. So my past and my present, you know. Yeah. So your then and now. your now. Yeah. We've been looking at it as a generational thing. Yeah, you know, family, thing, family thing, relationship thing. But now I want to look at it individually. So we're yeah. going right into the depth of a person's heart, mind, emotions, and just life in general, your experiences. So yes, we're coming. This is tailored to you and you alone. Yeah. However, if you have friends, family, please share also to them. Okay. Okay, so we're going to get right into the first thing we'll be talking about. Don't forget, in Red Base, it's about faith, meeting culture. So a lot of things that you'll hear would be related to God and scriptures as well as, you know, our everyday life and how places that we need help. So yeah. get right into it. The past, dummy. So, um, let's I talk mean, about my past. Let's, let's talk about your past. <laughs> Why are you? <laughs> <laughs> about yours? No, 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 not my past, guys. Our past. But let's talk about the past. Yeah, let's talk about the past. How much can my past influence my present? Well, it depends on um, you. Hmm. It depends on you, and it depends on you because um, you know. I, I remember this is this is something I wrote in a part of my book, which my. Oh, 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 that we finally mentioned his book. It's coming out soon. Yeah. So I'll, I'll give you a, a tidbit of that. So, so, so sometimes some people carry their past as a backpack, right? Yeah. And it weighs heavily on them in their presence, mm -hmm. you know, because mm -hmm. they've stuffed so many of their, you know, experiences, you know, trauma for some, uh, mistakes, hardship, mm -hmm. and that backpack is preven preventing them from moving as fast as they can in their presence, mm -hmm. you know. Um, so, so that's an example of how it could affect you negatively. Yeah. And for some, you know, they've transformed everything that you know might have been a negative experience yeah. into a lesson. And then move forward. With and move forward with, with you know, to make mm -hmm. better decisions. Mm -hmm. You know, um, to do things better, or to even try again. Let's try. You know, because. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, like, like you know, Thomas Edison, if, if he considered the past and considered it as a thing of, okay, I failed, rather than, you know, another way to try again or another way to do things differently, you know, he probably wouldn't have moved forward. So, so it depends on how you have handled your past or how you consider your past, you know, uh, as a person. The level and the kind of influence that your past has on your present is determined by you. Yeah. It depends on you. Yeah. I know that this is a very hard topic for some yeah. because of what they've been through in the past But I'd like you to just open your heart well, We're talking to ourselves as well because we've all been through something yeah. in yeah. the past But like Dami said, you either learn from it or you run from it or you carry it on you You know, and we're going to be telling you the best ways to move move beyond beyond that Based on our own experiences, based on scriptures So yeah, definitely So Dami then, um, what, what kind of I don't know why it feels like I'm interviewing Dabi. <laughs> my, my, anyway, don't worry. I, I know I will, I, will, I will bring him my own questions. I don't know so. why it looks like I'm interviewing, mm. but I'm sure my time is coming. So we'll go back to Dabi. So Dabi, give us a personal example then of um, something you experienced in the past that was supposed to be, don't really have to into detail, but something you experienced in the past that was supposed to be hurtful or that was supposed to be bad, negative, a negative experience if you may. 
and tell us how you pass that in the present. You know, as you're saying, I just remember God. <laughs> so, um, I'll give you two examples. Oh, I'll give you two examples me. because they're kind of connected. <laughs> so, in my high school, in my high school, <laughs> one of my lecturers or they were teachers then in high school, yeah, you know, actually said, you know, that wasn't good enough. That I mean, I was I was a real left-handed person that wasn't brilliant. Wow. I'm just trying to cap it, you know, so that you are not brilliant. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What? What? Yeah, because I was my grades were average in that course. Oh, right. My my grades were average in that course. Um, that subject. Keep going back to uni. Yeah. <laughs> is, that, is that lecture? Is that course? But in high school, they are called teachers and subjects. Oh no no yeah 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 oh yeah 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 it was it was yeah yeah so so I mean that one that one affected me. I'm not going to even beat around the bush. That one went deep because. I had the, the the mindset obviously that I, and I was brilliant, you know. And then, you know, it connected the left-handed thing because you know it, there was a time where it was kind of a, a stigma yeah. thing for left especially if you are if you are in in the African culture, the Nigerian culture. For mm-hmm. some side they didn't really understand, you know, someone being left-handed. So yeah. that kind of had some serious, you mm-hmm. know, impact. Can we imagine? You know. Um so well what did I say I was going to do? I thought about it, you know. I heard for a couple of, of time and I said, well, words, let's prove it. Your words, your words. Uh-huh. Please, let's be careful with how we talk. So I said I was going to prove it. Mm. So I said, well, it's a, it's a theory that he has presented. Yeah. So I converted what he said to his theory. Mm. I said, well, let's prove it, dummy. Are you brilliant or not? So I decided to work on, you know, University masters, I said I set targets for myself to say okay, let's prove whether you know what this man has said, you know, is hindsight or it's not true. Mm. And by the grace of God that propelled me forward, you know, in putting my best because the truth was that at that time when my grades were average is because I was becoming too chilled about you know my academics. So but that you know fueled you know the brilliant person in me that was sleeping. That was, that was asleep. <laughs> that was asleep, getting average grades. Wake up. You mm. understand? To wake up and then, mm. you know, we see the results that. So some of the results that we are seeing now, yeah. that kind of happened, you know, some. Which is why I was like, who is not brilliant? Some please? months back, I'm you know, sorry. and years back. Where is that person? <laughs> that's uh, that's that's part of the things that that fueled it back. So I was sleeping and that thing came for me. As I accepted it as a wake up call. Mm. That I was misrepresenting myself because my grades were average, you understand? So that's why he was judging me based on. So there was a time my grades were average. There has been a time in my life. <laughs> so that was a wake up call, and I took it up and I said, Okay, that means you need to really show them wow. who you really are. Wow, before Dami says his second his second example, just to point a few things out, a few things out. For those of us that are watching this and we plan to share to our friends, please go ahead and share to them. There's so much to learn because first of all, a person's past hurt, a person's negative experiences in the past is usually the is usually caused by one other person. Mm-hmm. If you've noticed, it's usually caused by someone else. You know, being being hurtful. Please, let's let's watch the things that we say. Teachers, watch what you say to these children. It, to you, you're just trying to tell them off or whatever. But someone like Dami will take that up, it hurts for a while, and then run with it. But you have other students there that may not be able to handle that. I'm not saying. I, I mean, I'm very much against the marshmallow generation that cannot handle truth. <laughs> but I'm just saying. Yeah, that is not way, truth. There's a way yeah. to communicate truth mm. without insulting somebody. There's a way to be honest with someone, procure solutions, you know, sh- tell the person, uh, give advice yeah. on how they grow. You can't just tell a child that you're dumb and then you don't tell them, okay, this is a, first of all, don't even tell a child. That. Exactly. You, can't, you, you don't say that. Don't even say that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't, don't say that. <laughs> 
You've you got know. to tell the child you can do better. I know that you've got yeah. so much inside of you mm. that you can do better than this. And then tell them how to go about it. Exactly. That's the right way to do stuff. Exactly. You tell you tell the same thing that you said to Dami to someone else, and they will literally for the rest of their life be so stigmatized that they would in their in their heads they can't amount to anything. Mm, yeah, true, true. And you don't know that true. you speak these things and then there are spirits that work to magnify this thing yeah. in the hearts of people yeah. and you just you know the person just keeps on telling themselves that it can't be better mm. i mean he said i wasn't better anyways yeah. and i can never be better yeah. he must be right i mean he's a teacher so i mean he, he, knows, he knows better better yeah like don't don't do that please i beg you and this is not just for teachers this is for everybody. everyone yeah don't just go outside and insult people to their faces and you, you never know what someone brought from home yeah true you know the kind of mental drain that they've or strain that has been put on them by other experiences and then they come to you and instead of your words to be sweet like honey you literally pour salt into their wounds mm. please let's not do that many people have been saved by words and many people have been killed yeah by words please let's mind what we say yeah. that's something i just wanted to point yeah. out yeah amazing so you can make a ma yes. you know people right by your words so please as mavi said let's let's be watching just really just really stood out to me it's just not yeah. it's not right at all for yeah. any reason i'm trying to think of of one that i might still be holding on to oh okay yeah i'm trying to because that one that one i i converted it to something to positive mm-hmm. energy mm-hmm. You know? i feel like as a as a christian sometimes which are a christian that knows who you are in christ and know the graces that are available to you sometimes you struggle like you are now to find past experiences that are still holding on to because god has yeah helped me yeah, yeah. Maybe, maybe okay so so but that one maybe maybe that one was that one was one that maybe because i said it in a very <laughs> was a quick flow but it didn't, yeah. it didn't you know, he wasn't converted yeah. quickly like that. I mean, yeah. it will take time. It, it took some time because I was a long, I was young now. Imagine that as a young, young. Because child. he said high school, but then where you really put much effort was in university. Yeah, and, and, and masters. masters so. yeah. Post grad. So yeah, as for me, I'm just trying to think if I have any past experiences I might still be holding on to that wasn't. I don't know. I but mean, is there is there is there one one? What was? What do you say? What was it? No, no, no. Um, don't mind that way, please. You know, there's no such thing. We're okay. just okay. <laughs> <laughs> Smart. I'm going to go straight to the next thing, Dami. Yeah. So, let's now talk about when it gets to the really tough things. Like trauma, mm-hmm. abuse, all of those things. How can we advise other people? in order for them to heal how they can prevent their past from haunting their present well amazing it's a bit deep it's a yeah. bit deep from here but I, I feel like it's something that we need to yeah just talk about yeah. so people that have really had traumatic past hurtful things yeah so so I, I would say the first thing is is you must imagine how beautiful your present can be how beautiful your future can be you know and all, all it requires is to step out of your past now i know that sounds very easy mm-hmm. but think about yourself you know in sense of what can your present be just imagine it mm-hmm. paint the picture of how beautiful your present can be how beautiful your future can be if you know you can let go of what happened hmm. because now now what, what what you're trying to do is is that negative image you are trying to replace it with a positive image now bible talks about it everything the bible talks about you know in terms of um negative it says casting down imaginations yeah. you know and every high thing that exhausts itself against the knowledge the knowledge of god for you is good you know, the bible says i wish above all things that you you know prosper prosper and being in good health even as you're so prosper you say i know the thoughts i have towards you yes, the says the lord thoughts of good and not, not of evil to give you a hope and a future so if you imagine hmm. that beautiful future that you can have you know what will happen in your mind is that you realize that irrespective of what has happened there is more in front that's right that's right there is you know? there's a better life waiting for you out of 
you know that dark situation that you might have gone through and and once you can imagine it you know you would see reasons it will well in the strength inside of you to be able to take the steps i know that most people who are going through trauma they know the steps to take yeah that's what i'm not talking about the steps mm. i'm talking about how to find the strength mm. we most mm. times we know how to get out of the issues that we are going through but what happens is that we can't summon the inner strength mm. to be able to take the steps so 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 what i'm talking about is to be able to summon that inner strength you need to imagine a better you mm. imagine the future you the life that you imagined put that picture inside you and you see it contained with that negative thing that you have yes, gone through yes. there will be a there will be a contention <laughs> and you know pray, prayerfully do it prayerfully do it mm. and then attach scriptures to it and begin to confess the things the amazing promises that god has given you mm. you know so concerning that situation, maybe you went through a negative thing maybe it was um a relationship thing begin to confess what god has said about the amazing marriage he wants to give you if if it is you know um you failed imagine you know begin to confess how god wants to give you good success god says that you know you know in joshua 1 it says uh, meditate on this thing so that you know you will make your way prosperous and have good success mm -hmm. so there's good success waiting for you there is um prosperity waiting for you so but but you need to to begin to pick out those mm -hmm. scriptures because you know words are powerful that's right so so you might not have the strength to be able to begin to take the steps but you have the strength to be able to, to put it. the words mm -hmm. out yeah. you know and yeah. words are powerful they are words are powerful. You say, you say, by the words of our mouth we are satisfied yes. so so begin to put those words out mm. and begin once you, you've created that image begin to put those words out and you see that gradually things begin to align inside you that's the power of the word of god you know you see that more and more that dark cloud inside you begins to clear out and 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 that future image that you have imagined begins to grow bigger and bigger and the strength in you begins to well in mm. even as the word of god begins to to do its work because the word of god does a work in us yeah. you know in partnership with the holy spirit you know bible says the holy spirit works in us to will and to do yeah so when we begin to confess it the will begins to develop that's right you know and then the doing now comes to be able to take the steps right. you know to be able to move forward perfect such a beautiful the only thing that i have to add is just a buttressing of damage point scripture says that with the mouth confession is made unto salvation your salvation from your past the saving grace of your past is in your mouth because like Dami said, you may not find the inner strength to be able to take the actions because your therapist is telling you the steps, your friends are telling you the steps, your parents are telling you the steps, but you may not be able to find strength to take any action, but you have the strength to confess, to open your mouth and say, you know what, I can be better, I will be better, I am better. And then just to add that, all you need to know for healing is in scriptures yeah god has encapsulated his good thoughts concerning you in scriptures and his word tells us that it doesn't matter what you are going through scripture says while you were yet sinners christ died for you because the love that he showed you is way before anything mm. happened that has happened god has loved you with such an everlasting love he wants you so much and he's telling you that it doesn't matter what you've been through. I have the ability in my hands to heal you. Scripture tells you that there is hope for a tree. Even though it is cut down, yeah. it will surely sprout again. Mm. There is that hope for a tree. You just open your mouth and confess the good things that you want to see. And you will see that it will begin your goodwill will begin to expand and you know that when something begins to expand it pushes out everything else in that space it begins to expand so much that the only thing is just that color that you painted in your mind mm. it starts from the mind yeah so please please and please and please if you need any help in your healing process you can reach out to myself or dami 
or you can just send us a DM on the Red Base. So we both manage the um, Red Base platform, the Instagram platform. Yeah. So we are the ones that would be replying to yeah. your message anyway. Yeah. So feel free. We don't have any administrator. Yeah, there's manager. no social media manager. No, <laughs> so you're, you're, if you have, if you need that safe space, um, God helping us and giving us the strength would help you in that journey. You're not alone. We're here for you. Yeah. I mean, yeah. we might just be two people that just have fun, you know, chatting with you guys. But we have, we believe that we do have a lot to offer by the grace yeah, of God, yeah. and we're ready to help you. Yeah. So please don't suffer alone. Don't try to do it by yourself if you need any help. Yeah, whatever you have gone through is is not new, mm-hmm. and it's not it's not irreparable. Yes, yes, people have gone through it and they've scaled through it, and we just really want to commit to helping you do that as well. So once again, we want to say thank you because this brings us to the end. Yeah, of wow. Our, then versus now series i can't barely believe that we have come to the end of it literally it's like we just started yesterday yeah yeah but now we're at the end and we really hope that everything we discuss dressing elegance parents friends relationships really hope that you at least got value and substance out of one of these things feel free to go back to the videos anytime yeah. you want drop comments like, questions share, subscribe <laughs> <laughs> subscribe thank you it looks so it, it just it just encourages us to do yeah, more yeah. and it also pushes our content to people that needs to see it yeah, as well yeah. follow us on our instagram at the red base pod and we will see you in our next video we'll be introducing our new series very soon so keep your eyes yeah, on look out for it look out for it in the meantime have a wonderful week we love you we'll see you again some other time bye bye <laughs>